guys, we're back on the Cape, finally. Been over a month. And uh, let's go take a look at the boat. And, uh, see how she held up. Okay. Yeah, that tarp looks fine. Gary, that's not very much under cover there, bud. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Oh, yeah, this is great. Tarp is perfect. Oh, Gary. Anyway, uh, this is back from Anchor Outboard. And they got it running. And good news. Uh, thankfully, I've got a motor for this coming season. And uh, that is so good. So good. Just really, really glad about that. So I'm going to come back out here in just a few minutes and put the tarp over the top of this. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. Hey. Welcome back to the Cape. Welcome back to Little Girl. Finally. Finally back down here. Oh, that's looking sweet, man. Awesome. All right, can't wait to get aboard. It's starting to rain. I'm probably not going to get back out here until tomorrow morning at this point because it is just starting and the rain's going to be the rest of the day. So, all right, guys. Welcome to Restoring Little Girl. So Ryan is coming over this morning and bringing my new slash uh, uh, custom-made... Uh, for his boat, <laughs> custom made for Avalon uh, sail cover. And what I'm going to do is set everything up here, and I'm going to uh, attach my boom, which is sitting right over there, attach my boom right here, and uh, tilt this so that when the when the uh, thing gets here, I can go ahead and, and uh, just, without a sail, just kind of put it around where it belongs, around the mast, measure the length to see where it comes on the boom, and uh, mark it and then I'll take it inside and cut it and he's loaning me his marvelous Sailrite sewing machine to do all the work and I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you Ryan man. You're a friend bud. Thank you. that in place right now. Okay. I left this place meticulously clean. And I love it. Uh, so anyway, turn this around. Okay, so the number one job for the day. Uh, Ryan's going to be over after a while and bring my new sail cover for little girl. And... Um, and his celery sewing machine, as I just mentioned. But in the meantime, uh, I've got all the parts to uh, my hatchway, uh, the uh, hatch tracks, and the new, the freshly painted up uh, hatches, hatch covers, and um, those are going to get all unloaded and up here on the boat. And we're going to proceed to get them back on the boat, reinstall them. Um, it's 35 degrees right now with a wicked wind chill factor. It is not nice out here at all. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reinstall them minus the, uh, the life cock. And that's just going to have to wait. Uh, the tracks are going to have to come back off and be bedded um, before they, you know, to, to put them home permanently for the summer. But that's going to have to wait. Uh, not, it's not going to happen on this trip. I'm just going to get everything back together for now. So, uh, let's get to work. And uh, thanks uh, for coming aboard and uh, welcome back to Restoring a Little Girl. Well, guys, after all the work I did, you can believe these are very carefully wrapped. But uh, double wrapped, actually, on the hatch covers. So anyway, we're here. We're up and running. So get this all, uh, get the tarp pulled back some and start getting the hatch tracks on. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. I'll change the plans a little bit. I uh, just got a call from Ryan, or I called him, actually. And I'm, now I'm heading up to the uh, Daily Paper. That's a local restaurant thing. And meet him there. And i got to pick up the, uh, the uh, sail cover and the sewing machine. So anyway, up the road. And uh, we'll be back and work on the hatch cover. Oh, we're going to have to reposition this. There we 
go. There we go. And the old screws that came out of the, the tracks were really ratty. They, 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 none of them were the oval head like this that I like, which makes it, makes it look nice and dressy. All the ones that came out of it were flat heads and uh, just, yeah, and too long. Some of them were, were so long that they were going down and piercing into the, uh, into the uh, cabin top inside. Well, you, not through, but 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 they were long enough to where they were just definitely. You could see the a little push down in into the cabin top, and that that won't go. That's why all these are inch and a quarter instead of inch and a half. So far, these are working great. So that's that's a good thing. Okay, we're coming right along. Oh, you know what? I forgot. <laughs> I gotta put the. I gotta put the. Um, I can leave the other one on, but I, I forgot. I gotta put my hatch covers in. You can't do this job without putting the hatch covers in first. Duh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop this for just right now, and I'll show you after we get these. Uh, very nicely refurbished hash covers in place. All right, we'll be back. There. There, there, there. Okay, now we can go back on with this side. That's that one. Okay. Okay, that is fine right there. So let's uh, get the other one on. Okay, guys, it's all put together. I want you to hear this. Glides like silk. Uh, a big part of this is besides putting in the uh, the guide strips you can see right there uh, these are waxed uh, before I ever came down here I waxed them and I made up a little block of wax that fits right into this groove and I just went up and down and just come up oh, hang on look over here <laughs> uh, and just completely wax the inside of those uh, so that when this when this pushes back just like silk no problem at all. That's the way it ought to be. <laughs> That's what all that work was all about. So, it's done. Oh, there you go. That's uh, what the last, what, three or four videos were all about. It's just getting this back to this point, and now she's all fixed up. Things I did today is make a trip up to West marine and uh, bought all brand new matching oval head stainless screws the right size um, these are one and a quarters instead of one and a halfs the others were mix and match that were in here and some of them were long too long and kind of poked down and uh, left a little dimple in the top of the cabin but uh, these are all the correct size and have everything matching hello i love 
everything when it looks great and works great. Okay, next short project to be done, I'm going to replace these brass screws with the black ones that I was sent by the company. So, weans and plath screws are about to be screwed home. Okay, next one that we're going to be working on here um, is putting my, taking these two jam cleats off and putting my new clutches in place and the crazy part of this is I just you know just for our chuckles here I lined this up I pulled one of the pulled one of the clutches up and lined up where the hole was yeah you're not going to be able to see it here where the hole was and okay so there's a screw and then I popped it all the way back to where you can see where the other hole was the other screw hole for the uh, the clutch here and guess what they're exactly, from the looks of it, the whole alignment is going to be perfect. Now, that's just on one side. What it means is one of these clutches is going to have to come completely off because these are too wide space for the clutch to fit over both of them. But I think what I'm going to do is, is mount this so that these two holes right here fit right into these two holes right here. And this is two less holes I'm going to have to drill in this cabin top. And uh, it, it's almost stinking perfect. I can't believe it. Uh, I don't think Spinlock made these, but anyway, this is a Spinlock um, set of clutches here. And um, yeah, well, let me let me take these off and just for just for fun, let's see if the holes are as perfect as I think they're going to be. Quick on that judgment. The problem is, if I mount it with those holes, it's going to stick back off the uh, edge here, and that's not good. So anyway. Well, it just means I've got to take both of them off and reposition this forward. Um, anyway, it's all going to get cleaned up and, and uh, brand new paint go on this anyway come the springtime as soon as we get some warm weather. Um, and I'll uh, plug these holes, do a proper job of plugging the holes, take this other one, jam cleat right off of here. And uh, once there, once this hole is, these holes have been plugged for this one, I'll probably just kind of center this up and uh, so that it's well over the top here and you know just kind of line it up and and uh, my lines will come right back to the cockpit and we'll remount this where it belongs so anyway at least we know what we're dealing with and uh where we're headed well guys this <laughs> this sail cover was made for a sail far 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 larger than mine uh but but the cool thing is, I think it's going to work. I've got my brother's seal cover at home, and I'm going to use that as a template for the upper part of this. This is way too big, and I can use that and get a pattern off from it and get it to actually pretty much fit um, the mast end of the, of the sail and the boom. Uh, so I think that, that'll work. We just use, use my brother's uh, as, a, as a template. And uh, I'm going to have to better get a little bigger than what he has because mine and my sail is bigger than his. But anyway, we can use that. And then here, uh, we're just going to go ahead and do a stitch up because we don't need this. Um, as a matter of fact, I think this is where he had, uh, oh, I'm not sure. He had something there in the middle. But anyway, we'll, we'll stitch this up and, and make this all one here. So that if this come, as this comes back, it'll come right on back. But the cool part right here, there's, a, there's like an add-on here. Guess what? This comes right at 10 feet. This comes right at 10 feet. And that's, that's where my, uh, the end of my boom is right there. And uh, so actually, Size-wise, length-wise, man, it's just about dead perfect. I don't think I'm going to have to change this. I'm going to have to cut this off over here and hem it like this, um, and change my um, change my setup for the little clips here. But I'll tell you what, I think it's going to work just fine and dandy. Uh, it's going to have to be smaller in girth, so we're going to have to take this in. This is not going to be as blousey as this. Uh, but that's why I'm going to be using my brothers as sort of kind of a template. I just the, the cool part of it is it's it's gonna it's gonna be really nice. I like it that it's tan, 
I like it that it's uh, been professionally made. Uh, it'll be modified extensively in order to go on my boat. But this is, this is just, like I said, this is just so cool that it, he just happens to have this. Um, I think these had something to do with Lazy Jacks right here. The, that set right there and this right here, I think that has to do with the Lazy Jacks. That these went around the Lazy Jacks at those two places on the boom. Keep in mind, that was a 17-foot boom. And so I think that's exactly what that is. Where the, where the Lazy Jacks came down, it went around right there. Well, right here at the 10-foot mark, it's perfect. We'll just cut it off. We don't need any more than this. Wrap this down underneath. Yeah, going to work perfect. So good. And I'm not even going to have to mark it. Uh, this, this is exactly where we're going to uh, end the sail cover right here where this hem is. And we'll just uh, double it up, do the same thing on the other side. We're good to go. So, again, Ryan, thank you, bud. Well, after a mighty struggle, I got my port cushion cover back on. Uh, when sailing season was all over last fall, I took these cushions off because this one especially had gotten wet with, uh, had a little bit of a leak on my port side. And so I uh, took them off, washed them, and just had them folded until now. You can tell from the folds in it. And uh, I just uh, got this back on with, eh, it's, it's a bit of a work, but it got on. The problem was, when I went to do starboard a few minutes ago, uh, I uh, tried to put the, see, tried to put the foot on first, which down here, instead of putting the top on, stupid mistake. Because if you do that, you have no flexibility, because you, then you're trying to take, you put that, get that, Focus, focus, come on. Come on. Okay. When you put the, when you put the foot on first, then you've got to you've got to bend all of this in order to get the top on. And you're you're struggling start to finish. You always put the top on first and then this amount of foam is a whole lot easier to flex and put into place than that amount of foam. And as a result, I did a rip out and a seam on my starboard cushion cover. Oh well, <laughs> I'm going to put it back on and take this thing home and do a stitch up on the cushion. Um, yeah, well, so much for that. That was a stupid mistake, uh, but this is the first year I've... I've done the take off and put on thing so you know i'm learning anyway at least port's all done cushion cover's ready to go back on the boat our cushion itself is ready to go back well i got them done uh i got the starboard cushion on i'm gonna have to just bring some uh good strong needle and thread next time and whip stitch that uh seam that came out right up at the top of the zipper over here uh, but uh you know hey they're back on and I think I'm going to go ahead and put them back on the boat. Uh, the humidity will kind of straighten out the wrinkles. And with a tarp on it, I don't need to work, worry about anything leaking. So, hey, one more little task done for this trip. And uh, cushion covers are ready for a new year. Well, guys, time to move the cushions in. That means clearing all this junk out of here. And uh, so we'll be with you in just a minute. Well, I love having my cushions back aboard. It makes me feel like little girl is almost back to normal. Uh, but I'm really hoping that uh, being out here and a little bit of Cape Cod humidity is going to straighten out the wrinkles. But, you know, hey, they'll get there. Uh, they haven't been on the cushions more than half an hour and it just uh takes time to do this so all right yes <laughs> she's getting back to uh going in the water phase and i'm looking forward to it see guys this is why i wanted to paint these uh hatch covers the bottoms of them because i'll tell you what on a bright sunny day with the sun coming in it reflects and it really brightens up the cabin big time it is just so good so anyway there it is. 
and there's where the notch used to be and it's all gone so no more potential gusher coming through into the cabin well guys it's been an awesome trip um uh, we've only gotten in basically one day of work but boy did we get a lot accomplished the cool thing is this is just like a real, real mini trip because i only got that one day um the uh the reason we're down here is we have a, a sister in christ a lady from this part of the church in the, on the cape where i used to preach here uh who's dying of cancer and so we're down to uh, go to a get together this afternoon out at a restaurant out in yarmouth um, with a whole bunch of members of the church just to kind of well not say goodbye but yeah just spend some time with her this is what she wanted um you know to just be able to spend some time with everybody she's probably got about two months to live so anyway we're gonna go do that this afternoon then we gotta head on up the pike get back up to vermont because i've got to preach tomorrow morning but in the meantime like i said we've got a lot accomplished that's all going to be in this video uh, but then next week lord willing and if the creek don't rise um one of the guys was supposed to preach for me this weekend and come to find out his daughter was in contact with somebody who had COVID and they didn't have it there. But anyway, the point is they, they had to uh, not be there to take care of my preaching this Sunday. So next week he is going to preach and I'm going to be back down here and going to be back down here for several days. We're going to really try to get a, whole, a lot accomplished uh, to get little girl ready for uh, going in the water. And uh, it won't be anytime soon. We've got, got a lot of work we want to get done on her. Uh, before she goes back in uh, probably toward late summer uh, but in the meantime uh, hey thanks for stopping by restoring little girl and uh, yeah we'll we'll be back we'll be back and uh, hope you enjoy this episode that uh, is going to have all the work that we got done on this trip and I've got a, a brand new video coming out very shortly actually by the time you see this you'll have already seen it about sailing so we'll catch you later guys and um, Thanks for coming by Restoring Little Girl, and we'll catch you on the next trip down.